O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hymn 697 My God, accept my heart this day, and make it always thine, that I from thee no more may stray, no more from thee decline. Before the cross of him who died, behold, I prostrate fall. Let every sin be crucified, and Christ be all in all. Anoint me with thy heavenly grace, and seal me for thine own, that I may see thy glorious face, and worship near thy throne. Let every thought and work and word to thee be ever given, then life shall be thy service, Lord, and death the gate of heaven. Reading uh, Psalm readings for today, 120, 121, and 122. Psalm 120. In my distress I cry to you, to the Lord, that he may answer me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips, from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you, and what more shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue? A warrior's sharp arrows with glowing coals of the broom tree. Woe is me that I am an alien in Meshech, that I must live among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I had my dwelling among those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will never slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Psalm 122 I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, built as a city that is bound firmly together. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, as was decreed for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there the thrones for judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. For the sake of my relatives and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek your good. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Psalm 19, 2 through 5. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In the heavens he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom from his wedding canopy, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grandeur and glory of God certainly grabs our attention with the extreme splendors of the natural world. I remember seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time. My first thought was that on the seventh day, God stood back and said, Wait till they see this. We wonder as we view the infinite starry sky on a clear night and the existence of life at the great depths of our oceans, now visible through technology, all bearing witness to God's handiwork. Yet it's the everyday gifts that can really impress us. The changing leaves, the work of bees, a baby's tiny fingers, and every breath we take. Let us stand in wonder and gratitude for all our Creator provides for us 
in the miracles around us each day. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God the Father, source of everything divine, you are good, surpassing everything good, and just surpassing everything just. In you is tranquility, as well as peace and harmony. Heal our divisions and restore us to the unity of love, which is similar to your divine nature. Let the bound of love and the ties of divine affection make us one in the Spirit by your peace, which renders everything peaceful. We ask this through the grace, mercy, and compassion of your only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of the faithful, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.